V is for vegan asks, do you use tofu much? I keep tofu in my refrigerator at all times. It is a staple in my refrigerator. However, I do not use it all the time. Um, I keep two packages of tofu in my refrigerator in the event that we get in the mood to have tofu scramble, which I bake up in the oven. Sometimes we're in the mood, somebody's in the mood to take tofu and slice it real thin, cover it with barbecue sauce and bake it off in the Breville oven so I can have like little barbecue slices. And then we take that and we make sandwiches into it. So you can have like a little barbecue sandwich. Of course, we have lettuce and tomato in there. So we kind of make like a quick sandwich meat with it. Or if you make it, or if, uh, if I can remember, I can take that tofu and uh, squeeze it dry or bake it. Oh, here's another dehydrator thing. I've taken tofu, sliced it, you know, pretty thin like that, and then dried it in the, the dehydrator so that the pores will open up. Then I take it and bring it back out and drop it into a marinade with some kind of sweet, spicy, smoky concoction, okay? Like maple syrup, liquid smoke, and tamari, okay? Something real simple with a little water. And then drop that, those tofu, that, that dried out tofu into that marinade. It soaks it up like a sponge and let that sit in the refrigerator overnight. And then take out those, take out that tofu and either dry it out in a pan like fry it in a pan or throw it in the toaster oven. That's what we really do. We throw it in the toaster oven and let it bake off the wetness and then throw that in a sandwich. Oh, it's as close as I can get to a wanna BLT that is like our most awesome favorite sandwich, but it, it's a quick way to kind of have a tofu bacon. So that's it. What else? And then occasionally I will make tofu mayo if I'm planning to make like a big broccoli salad or if I want to make potato salad and I need a mayo, a lot of mayo, then I'll use tofu to mix up a large batch of tofu mayo. Uh, but that's it. That, those are the reasons we use it. But we do not eat it a lot. Um, and tofu lasts for months in the refrigerator, so I just make sure that I keep my tofu in the coldest part of my fridge. Uh, tofu can also be frozen, which makes it actually chewier. If you take if you take a package of tofu in water, not the box stuff, but the stuff that's in a plastic container that's in water, you can take that container, throw it in the freezer, let it freeze, and then take it back out, let it thaw, and what happens is the water uh, expands the it expands the tofu inside, opening up more holes, and then you you press out the water, and then you can take that tofu and you can dry it and marinate it or whatever, or you can and then you can bake it up, and you'll have a chewier. It's a little spongier. I mean, honestly, it's a little spongier for a tofu, but it makes a nice chew if you bake that off and you could throw it into a salad or you can throw it into like you want to make a big wok full of lo mein and you want to throw some baked uh, tofu blocks in, in with that, then tofu that has been frozen and then baked, that's good. Bye.